Welcome to The Late Show. Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, it is... That, that response... That response is like an oasis in the desert at the end of a tough week. It's Friday. And, um... Right, that's it. It has yeah. been uh, a humdinger of mm -hmm. a week. Uh, I don't know about you, but my dinger is still humming. Now, <laughs> really give it a whack there. Um, <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, it means you have good reception in your fallout shelter. And, um, oh, I also want to tell you that tonight's show is brought to you by my new sponsor, Sheep and Rocks. <laughs> Everything you'll need in the afterscape. <laughs> Rocks can be flaked into simple tools and used to shear the sheep get meat from their bones, which then can be turned into even more complex tools to be traded for potable water and women. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Um, here's the thing, is that I can, I'm a little, a little down. I'm a little yeah, down about I the state see. of the world. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you're down about the state of the world, you're not alone, uh, because we just learned that when the president, um, he spends a lot of time down on the frowny farm, but he receives a folder full of positive news about himself twice a day. <laughs> Positive news about Trump twice a day? Man, he should really share that with the rest of the world. <laughs> now, the folder... The folder is a 20 to 25 page packet of praise-filled news stories delivered around 9.30 a.m. along with a follow-up around 4.30 p.m. So, once uh, at breakfast, uh, once again after lunch, and if he's still cranky at bedtime, they put up his mobile of Breitbart stories. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just black and white, because he doesn't have the, does the rods and cones. Right the yeah. Page. Of course, uh, Trump is a hard man to please, which is why the only feedback his staff has gotten on these folders is, it needs to be more <laughs> positive. <laughs> more positive? More positive? If he loves himself anymore, he'll go blind. <laughs> but even... <laughs> but even folks in the White House know that this is weird. Yeah, this is strange. Because apparently, some of the White House staff call the folder the propaganda document. <laughs> now, hold the phone, Chuck. Propaganda is supposed to brainwash the citizens into loving the leader. Not brainwash the leader into loving himself. <laughs> Otherwise, those Chinese posters would have said, Chairman, you're doing an amousing job. <laughs> Words to that effect. Translate, different translations. The president apparently likes to see admiring tweets, screenshots of positive cable news, chirons, those lower third headlines at the bottom of the screen, and sometimes just pictures of Trump on TV looking powerful. Well, you know what? There just is not, not enough of that out there. So our in-house news team, Real News Tonight, is ready to help. Welcome to Real News Tonight. I'm Jill Newslady. And I'm Jim Anchorton. Tonight, we debut our newest segment, the Donald Trump Smile File. That sounds fun, Jill. What's in the file today? Well, for starters, these totally true lower third graphics, which would look beautiful framed on the president's desk. Next up in the Smile File, the president looks powerful on TV. Here he is lifting a car to save a baby. Trump looks strong. Trump is strong. And here he is punching a hole in the moon. Never saw President Obama taking on the moon. The moon knew of his weakness. Finally in the smile file, it's Zippy, the monkey friend young Donald Trump used to hold as he fell asleep. Remember, Donald? You thought you lost Zippy forever. But Zippy is back, and he has a message for you. I love you, Donald. You're doing a great job as president. Plus, no one else exists, and you're never going to die. True that, Zipster. Coming up next, the president's upcoming biopic. Is John Hamm handsome enough to play Donald Trump? Stay tuned.